Hey, Buffs. Welcome to Stampede TV. I'm your host, Nico. And I'm your host, Mark. And today we have some sports for you. We have some boys basketball versus Keller Central at 7 o'clock. We also have some boys soccer at Eaton High School um, at 6.30 and girls soccer versus Eaton at 6.30 as well. We also have a theater play coming up called The Storm in the Barn at the Black Box at 7 p.m. for $10. More info to come. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. I'm your host for today and I'm with our wonderful resource officer. Might you introduce yourself? I'm Officer Cage with Haltom City Police Department and this is my fifth year at Haltom High School. We hear that folks, it's fifth year. Congratulations. Thank and you. I'm glad that you're here with us for today. Thank you. Now today we're going to talk about Monday which we were put on a hold. Now, you mind explaining us what is a hold first? Okay, so a hold is when something is going on inside of the school that we really don't need anyone in the hallways. We don't need uh, faculty members. We don't need students uh, in the hallways. No one, you know, is to really go to the restroom. The easiest way to remember hold is just you hold in your room. No in or out. Okay. okay. And am I telling us what is to secure? So another one of the uh, our emergency operations that we have is when you get put into a secure. Okay. A secure is when the building itself is secure and you're allowed to change classes, you're allowed to use the restroom, you're allowed to be in the hallway, you're allowed to go to the nurse. It's just nobody can leave the building and nobody is coming into the building from the outside. Now you can see folks, there are two differences here. One where you cannot enter the building nor leave and one where you stay put in your classroom until the, the investigation is over. Correct. So let's say we had something on going outside of the school, like, you know, for example, we had a, like a, some police chase going outside, you know, like near the, uh, the highway of the school. How would that put us in this situation? So for example, um, let's say the police department is in a pursuit and they're chasing someone and they crash uh, right out, right in front of the school on Halton Road. And people get out of that car and they run, okay? I'm gonna put the school into a secure, right? That means everything inside the school is safe, right? It's just outside the school, we don't need anyone coming in, we don't need anyone going out. Because we don't need someone trying to enter the building to hide. Right. That, that would be a secure. If, um, like one of the schools in our district is really close to train tracks. So if there was a train derailment, the school would be put on a secure. All right. Because okay? you can still do things inside the school. We just don't need people exiting it out and, exiting and coming in. All right. Okay. So what about for hold? So a hold is, uh, let's say there's a medical emergency in the hallway and the right. bell's about to ring to change classes. We'll put the uh, school into a, a hold because we don't need anyone in the hallways. We don't need you going from this class to that class, or we don't need you going to the restrooms right now because we have to take care of whatever's going on inside the hallway. All right, well, folks, that's all we have for today. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you, Officer Cage, for tuning in with us. Thank you. Well, folks, that's all we have for today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, go Tigers. <laughs>
Hey, my name is Leonardo Montour, and uh, today's question is, what did you guys do for break? We went to Florida. Together. Yeah. Florida? Yeah. Oh, go Buffs. I'm just just went with Mr. It's Mr. Russ. Today's question is, what did it open up when it break? Uh, a little bit more than nothing. Checked on a couple of friends, and that's pretty much it. All right? See you soon, Tom. Today I'm with the Vail Linda Valdez. What did you do over the break? Um, sleep, eat, and hang out with my dog. Mood. Go Buffs. Hey Buffs, welcome back to Student Shoutouts. I'm with Ariel. Do you have anyone to shout out? My boy Sergio. Why do you want to shout out Sergio? Because he's fun. He always is a nice person. Yeah. He helps out everyone. Congratulations Sergio. Go Buffs. Hi Buffs, welcome back to Student Shoutouts. Today we have... Destiny. And Destiny, do you have any shoutouts you want to do today? McKenna. <laughs> is there a reason why? For being a good friend. Congratulations, McKenna. Hey, Buffs, I'm with Angel. Do you have anyone to shout out? Miss Peters. Why do you want to shout out Miss Peters? Because she's one of the best teachers I've ever had. Congratulations, Miss Peters. Hi, Buffs, welcome back to Student Shoutouts. Today we have Alejandro. And Alejandro, do you have any shout outs you want to do today? Uh, yeah, you. Really? Is, it, is there a reason why? Um, because we've been friends for a while, since sixth grade. Hey. Hey Buffs, I'm with Genesis. Do you have anyone to shout out for the student shout outs? Mm, Kenna. Why do you want to do me? Because you're friendly and you're nice. Congratulations. Thank you. This person is Harriet Tubman. She was born between 1820 to 1822 in Dorchester County, Maryland. Harriet Tubman was born into slavery, but she but she was able to get away and escape to the state of escape the state of Maryland. Harriet Tubman changed her name from Aramis to Ross in order to celebrate her freedom, and this marks the beginning of an amazing journey. As an American abolitionist and social activist, Harriet Tubman made. 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 slaves, as well as saving 300 in just 19 trips, including family and friends, using the network of anti-slavery activists and safe houses known as the Underground Railroad. Sadly, she passed away after contracting pneumonia. Harriet Tubman was a hero still to this day. She saved countless lives and changed the course of history. Harriet Tubman showed courage, bravery, and selflessness. No matter what people thought, she pushed on. Her final words are, I go to prepare a place for you. Rescuing slaves requires skill and careful planning. It requires reading, Harriet. Can you read a sign or a map? Can you read it all? I put my attention on trying to hear God's voice more clearly. Do you know what would happen if you got caught? They would torture you until you pointed them right to this office. You got lucky, Harriet. And there's nothing more you can do. Don't you tell me what I can't do. I made it this far on my own. God was watching, but my feet was my own. Running, bleeding, climbing, nearly drowned. Nothing to eat for days and days, man. I made it. So don't you tell me what I can't do. What's up, Buffs? It's me, Lucas, here with your gaming news with... Chris. Uh, so, WWE 2K23 has been confirmed to be coming out on current-gen and last-gen systems. So, I guess that kind of works. Uh, that does include PC, by the way. <laughs> Unfortunately for the Switch players, kind of sucks to be y'all because, well, there's no confirmed release. So, sorry. <laughs> um, the... For the last gen systems, it'll be around 60 bucks. Could be more, could be less. I don't really know. Uh, but I know for a fact that <laughs> current gen systems will be around 70 bucks. So today, uh, today's big game of the month is going to be Hogwarts Legacy. Releasing later today, Hogwarts Legacy is an action role playing game in which players are able to attend classes at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Players can explore locations from the Wizarding World franchise such as the Forbidden Forest, Diagon Alley, and Hogsmeade. 
Now, personally, I haven't, I've seen a couple of clips of the game and I think it looks remarkable. The graphics look amazing and things like that. Though I'm not really the, the type of person to play an action role playing game. That's, I'm more of an FPS guy, but I'm sure the game will be great. Hey guys, where are we? I don't know. I could have sworn that we were still on the trail. Oh, who's actually in Michael Lee? Oh, first of all, Danny, shut up. Second of all, this is the perfect time to show off my super cool, awesome survival skills that I learned in Boy Scouts. We, 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 we've been walking for five minutes. We just go back the same way we came from. Oh yeah, sure. Go back the same way we came from. You go ahead and do that, Danny. All right, fine. See you lose later. How the heck did I get here? Dude, who cares? Let's go forage in for food. We can't just ignore what just happened. How are we supposed to find food? All there is is creeks and trees. All right, first of all, there's food in the trees. There is no second wall. You're gonna get us killed, Michael. Yeah, maybe I should be the leader. No, uh... no, not after last time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Michael on this one. Fine, I didn't want to lead anyways. All right. Time to go find some food. We're gonna die out here. What's that, Mark? Nothing. Anyways. Guys, I'm not finding anything. And right here is the Leafus greenigus, or the rarest of the night realms. Now, funny thing. Mike, what are you doing? I'm going build girls mode, dude. Come on. Dude, just keep filming. It's fine. Now, the thing people don't know about the what's that? About the leaf is green, I guess. It's one of the most rare leaves all across the town. The thing is, they call it the leaf is green, I guess, but it's actually not green. It's brown. Now, Funny thing about the leaf is green, I guess, is it's not very tasty. <laughs> you won't believe what I found. Little seizures. You know, I'm not surprised they're out here. Where's Mark? I think he's still scratching out for food. Should we go look for him? Nah. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna finish off this peat. Okay, looks like there is no more peat. What should we do now? Well, I guess at this point, we might as well just fish. Oh, now look right here. Ooh, now this right here. This is some good moss, all right? And the thing about the moss around here is that it's completely unedible. <laughs> but that's the fun part about it, is that when you can't eat stuff, it makes it more exciting than when you eat it. What are you guys doing? What are oh, Michael's doing? Yeah. I don't know. Let's go check. Michael? Oh, oh hey guys. You interrupted me there during my snack crew time. Now, the funny thing about this stick right here, all right? That's really, really tasty. Now, the reason why people say you shouldn't eat sticks like this is good. Woo! Good catch there, mate. You see this right here? That's poisonous. Oh. This little substance right here, ooh, that'll put you in the grave faster than a, well, faster than a roadrunner is by a coyote. Now, we now have to, here, look up, look at me, look at me. We now have to set up our camp. All right, now, the best place to set up camp is in the woods. Come on. Hey guys, we're gonna go on a little adventure now. So, the fun part about these areas, right, is that we are in the middle of no- What? We 
were on the trail the whole time? Huh. It's pretty weird. Here, you can take this back. I don't need it. Anyways, I'll call us an Uber. Wait, wait, wait. You had your phone on the whole time and the school was right there. What were we doing on the... We could have gone on the trail. <laughs> How about that? Anyways. We have one more announcement for you guys. We have no school next Friday, as well as the following Monday. That's all we have for today. Go Buffs. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence.